what lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. These were originally commissioned for the high school um, for a group of seniors that were graduating that year. Um, and this one is you show that uh, the future matters that are ahead of us are not nearly as important as uh, the inner, inner person.
studying the xylophone at the age of 11. And in a short amount of time, within a year or two, he was actually touring with the family band. So by the age of 19, he was on vaudeville. Hopefully you know something about vaudeville. Uh, the vaudeville circuit actually passed through Huntington. Uh, you're talking about the late teens, 19, 18, in that, that uh, range. Uh, they probably performed at the Keith Alby. I know for sure the Capitol saw the, the vaudeville era. So by the age of 19, he had reached rock star status. There was no electric guitar, but the xylophone it was a showy instrument. So this is an actual quote. Within one year of being on vaudeville, George was proclaimed the fastest most artistic and wonderful xylophone player in the world. So he was a rock star at the age of 19. So the rock star tonight is going to be Samuel Abbott from Lincoln County.
next composition on the program is by Michael Colgrass, uh, from the Chicago area originally. He was a jazz drummer as a young man, studying at the age of 14. We think of him now as a Canadian composer, since he, he was living in Canada for a long time. He did pass away several years ago, unfortunately. Um, his works have been performed by major orchestras and soloists all over the world. He's written for a lot of different size ensembles, and uh, as I was going to say a moment ago, this, this piece, Three Brothers, is one of the first pieces I remember playing at Penn State University as a freshman. So it has a lot of memories, and it goes back in our repertoire. It's become a staple piece. So the three brothers of the title are represented by timpani, bongos, and snare drum. So you'll hear at various points you know, training solos, might consider a conversation, sometimes perhaps even an argument here and there. The other players do get a chance to shine that are, are there to support the three brothers. So we hope you enjoy the three brothers.
coming out. It's nice to see a real audience again. Very strange trying to live stream a performance to, with nobody in the audience. So we really appreciate you coming out to, to share our program with us. Last piece on the program is by Pat Devaney, one of my favorite jazz guitar players of all time. American jazz guitarist and composer of progressive, contemporary jazz, Latin jazz, and jazz fusion. He's got all the jazz areas covered pretty much. With three gold albums to his credit and 20 Grammy Awards. An amazing guitar player. I was listening to Pat Metheny in college. I won't tell you how many years ago that was. You can guess. This song, though, is one of my all-time favorites. Quite beautiful, but complex at the same time. If you're in music in society, you want to score some points. Most of the composition is in six counts per bar and five, alternating six and five, which is, in itself is not a big deal. The problem is the way the music is phrased. A lot of the time I'm counting one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one. Easy for you to say, right? I've been walking around doing yard work, conducting. I've been doing this in my sleep. So it becomes something, you want to get to the point where you don't have to think about it and you're just feeling the music. And so this is quite a complex piece of music and I'm so happy that we're able to try to give it to modern. If you're interested in anything, that any sounds you heard or you just want to come down and talk, please join us after the concert. Come on down. Um, again, we appreciate you coming out. We hope you enjoy Pat Metheny's first circle. Thank you. 